klappe die erste Schneeäule. Hello, this is Kociokvik and uh, my guest today is Ulrike Gens, who is the founder and the head brewer or the only brewer in Schneeäule. The only worker? <laughs> <laughs> I am Schneeäule, kind of. So because, so yeah, we, I'm, I'm still so small that I don't have more uh, employees. <laughs> so you're the head brewer, the master brewer. <laughs> Girl for everything. So the cleaner, the labeler, the filler. Yeah. Okay, so... Driver. Uh, <laughs> so how did you become interested in Berliner Weisse? Because it seems like... A, 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 I don't want you to be offended, but it seems like a boring style of beer. <laughs> seems like a boring style. Of style oh, of beer. no, that's not the boring style of beer. Okay, eventually we start from the beginning. I studied brewing technology. So, and when you study brewing technology, it's a little bit like uh, an industrial style brewing. Yeah, you learn how to brew in big scale Pilsner, yeah, lagers, stuff like this. Yeah, so spoilage organisms and you you have this um, infusion um, brewery uh, equipment, stuff like this. And uh, once I had one day, I been thinking about, should I do it further? Because in the first uh, lesson, we talked about how nice is beer, how healthy it is, what's the benefits of beer, yeah, so something it's uh, good against all the coli bacteria. Uh, it's better to drink uh, beer than water because you can't die from it, uh, then you have also an uh, anti-cancerogen substances, you have um, really healthy stuff, yeah, so minerals and feeds also the, the people with uh, proteins and sugars a little bit. And in, in the next lesson, uh, we learn how to remove exactly this good substances, was benefits the beer. So, and at least you just have colored alcohol liquid. So this is, oh, fuck. So um, in this time also the, the craft beer scene wasn't, wasn't there, so no hoppy beer, no IPAs, stuff like this. Uh, and then comes a little bit this, this IPA stuff and it was, oh yeah, it's interesting. Uh, beer, uh, beer scene with the special beers, OHA, we have also other beer styles than just Pilsner or Lagers. And of course, as a student, you have parties. <laughs> and when you, when you know brewers, then you know they drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and the parties was uh, like this, and so ah, always drunk, and the next day was ah, horrible. But then there was one uh, party, uh, the head brewer of VLB, so Versuchs- und Lernstalt uh, für Brauwesen in Berlin, was, was on the same campus. He brought a keg, real Berliner Weisse. So with Breton Muses and living lactobacillus, blah. And I drank it the whole night. I enjoyed it. So because it tastes good. Um, the next day was perfect. I think, wow, this is my beer style. And of course, I, I look in, looked for, for beer, but I couldn't find. Yeah. So of course, in, in uh, US, they had these uh, Berliner Weisse styles. Yeah, was not available, not that often, so, and was expensive, and, yeah, hmm, no, not, uh, not, not enough. So then uh, is, was one brewer in, in Berlin called Brewbaker, he did one batch a year. So, of course, one batch um, was almost sold out, so... Uh, mostly sold out, so, mm. so yeah, phew, Kraft meiner Wassersuppe, yeah, <laughs> I have to do it myself. So, and uh, then comes the interesting part of that, because uh, I, I read something about what I, what I need and blah, okay, we need, I need 
Saramutes, of course, like beer, lactobacillus. Hmm, where I get lactobacillus. So, yeah, hmm, we know uh, some possibilities. So, yogurt, sauerkraut, malt, yeah. Uh, I talked with the Gose Braumeister from Leipzig, aus Bayerischer Bahnhof, and he had really nice uh, tips for me. So, yeah, I do it from malt. Aha, interesting. <laughs> And makes also sense because, uh, of course, uh, the, brew the brewers uh, don't put yogurt in, in the beer because it's milk inside. Hey, come on, that's no. Uh, they they grow it from the malt because the, the the lactobacillus lives on the malt and helps also um, malting. And so, hmm, okay, uh, lactobacillus. And Brettomyces. Hmm. I just found papers how to clean stuff and remove the bacteria and the Brettomyces, and no, <laughs> no paper how to grow them, how to feed them, how to cultivate them. Yeah. Hmm. Also, the the brewer from from Bayerischer Bahnhof helped me um, because he also brewed uh, Berliner Weisse. Uh, was it just sold to to US in this time, um, and uh, then we have we had a, a hobby brewer in Berlin called Bog called uh, called yeah called Bog Bog. Um, he was also the speaker uh, the, of um, CCC Computer Club, so he was a hacker mm -hmm. and he also hacked Berliner Weisse <laughs> kind of. Uh, Because he brought once uh, uh, a bottle uh, in the laboratory and said, yeah, I want to, to react uh, the yeast inside. And they did it and he brewed, um, okay, hobby brewer style. And so I, I, get the, I talked with him and he said, yeah, let's do it together. So it started a hobby brewer study project kind of. So don't call it Schnee Eule. So we we had a little room behind the old um, uh, brewing um, Zoot House of uh, the East Side uh, Berliner Weisse Brewery, and this time was done. So we had there was a, a bar, <laughs> yeah, and really small, 14 square meters. <laughs> wow. That's almost nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's a, like a, like a kitchen, kind of. So yeah, we started with 50, 50 liters, not hectoliters. <laughs> yeah, and so it started. Also in in the um, in the university, my my professor um, did his his. PhD about Berliner Weisse, and he found out you need definitely Brettomyces. So without, it's not the same. You need it for the taste and for the haptic, and yeah, without, it's not real Berliner Weisse. Okay, and of course I forced him. Hey, come on, let's do something about Berliner Weisse. Ah, but nobody is interested in it, and nobody wants to pay for it. Blah blah blah. Um, yeah. I was a bit lucky because also the, the Lemke Brewery was interested in Berliner Weisse and he said, yeah, okay, I pay for study work. So, and then I brought also my bacteria and my yeast uh, and just have a look. And he brought some uh, bacteria and yeast and then I did a nice um, study work about it. And um, on the same time also we, d we do this this hobby brewer study project mm -hmm. uh, to uh, brew real Berliner Weisse. And uh, uh, the first event where we present our Berliner Weisse was the third Berliner Weisse Gipfel. This, uh, yeah, <laughs> the first one was just a table, <laughs> ten, ten people around it. So yeah, we talked about Berliner Weiss and how to brew and what we're doing. So the second was a, with a little bit of um, of uh, uh, um, customers too. And uh, the third one was with um, some more also international brewers, uh, breweries and uh, talks, 
stuff like this to teach the people again something about Berliner Weisse. Yeah, so yeah, but I, I don't don't get bored. I, I don't get bored, and it makes no sense. Yeah, so the clean beer is boring. If you think about it's a boring beer style because it's just Saccharomyces. Yeah, <laughs> okay, you can variate with the malt and with the hops, but still, yeah. Berliner Weiser have the Bretomyces, had have Lactobacillus, uh, with different ideas of, of living, yeah. And uh, it's uh, also interesting when you, after a year or two years, when you have to throw away the, the IPAs because it didn't taste mm -hmm. anymore, <laughs> uh, the Berliner Weiser will be more interesting then. So, and uh, so it's not boring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know if we want to get into the whole history of why Berliner Weisse stopped being popular, because I'm guessing it's, you know, the same as, for example, with our Grodziske. Uh, it's not necessarily a taste that everybody likes. Um, plus the, the alcohol content is quite low. So the people who want to get drunk don't choose that kind of beer. Uh, but um, there was still Berliner Kindle brood. Yeah, exactly. How on, on is this it different reason? than the, the, the real Berliner Weisse? Yeah. Now, the, the, the Berliner Weisse and also the Grusische, um, it have a reason they exist. Yeah, the, I think the really old beer styles from the time they have to, to drink beer instead of water, because the water is not that good. So, yeah, yeah. In, in the last century, they had better water. They uh, want to be drunk. So there's effect drinkers, yeah. So, and then you, they don't need uh, Berliner Weisse uh, anymore. And um, why Kindle uh, survived the disappearance is because it's, easy madeable yeah mm -hmm. so it's just soured beer kind of uh, nobody knows exactly how it works mm -hmm. so you can imagine it's a little bit li like a kettle sour i think it's eventually a bit less complicated than a kettle <laughs> sour <laughs> yeah uh, and uh, easy to scale yeah, imagine the, the last uh, Berliner Weisse brewery, also, ah, yeah. uh, after the world falls da fall down, uh, Radeberger Gruppe bought all the big breweries in Berlin. So the east side uh, brewery uh, and the west side also, also Schultheis, Kindle and east side. So, and uh, all of them had the Berliner Weisse also. Schult, uh, <laughs> the east side was, also where we brewed was really old it was from the 1900 so around so goes directly in the museum <laughs> so and um the schultheis had a really huge uh, zoot house yeah the, they produce in once in one batch uh, 125 hectoliters and it's a lot mm -hmm. yeah it's a half of my year production kind of so now okay bit less, but now <laughs> it develops, uh, but still, yeah. Um, and uh, they know Schulteis was better and was the original, but they also saw uh, the people don't want to drink it anymore uh, because, yeah, they just drink it with syrup. This was just for, for children or like a Radler. And so pff, eventually we can't sell it in 10 years. So it makes no sense to keep the huge suit house um, to produce a, a lot of beer we can't sell, mm -hmm. yeah, of course. Um, and they, they have, you have to brew uh, Berliner Weisse each week once, minimum. Mm -hmm. So else uh, you destroy also the, the mix culture. And uh, so they choose Kindle. Um, Kindle did this style... Um, the, the Kindle Weisse since the 70s. So when you find a Kindle Weisse from 80s, makes no sense to try this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, because or from the 70s is, um, yeah, <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah. But the Berliners 
ähm, misst the real banana weiße. So I started um, Schneeule and then comes also the, the local TV uh, um, and do a show with this. So helps helps in the brewery and uh, talk about Berliner Weisse. And then some, some Berliners called me. So like, yeah, oh, Finally, I'm so happy that uh, that I can put the Berliner Weisse in the in the cellar again and it age in the in the right way, because with the Kinder, impossible, impossible. I tried it four years, but no way. <laughs> that makes no sense. So and yeah, imagine my my father and my grandfather they uh, put it in the soil in the cellar and when they they. Um, it comes out and they drunk it, the children have to be really quiet and pff, there was something really special. So, and so, yeah, it was still in the, in the head, mm -hmm. but this woman was really old. So when, when you met, uh, when you meet uh, 50, 60 years old people in Berlin, so they have this syrup stuff in the head. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So and I'm, I'm guessing you're against adding syrup to Berliner Weisse because there's a, a this notion that some people say that Berliner Weisse always should be served with uh, syrup. No, that's not true. Yeah, this is this is like so. Oh, the best beer is the Pilsner. Pilsner is a really uh, young beer style. Yeah, 150 years ago, uh, years old. Mm -hmm. uh, Berliner Weisse is similar, like Goose, uh, Goose uh, much older. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from a time you have to drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, they added usually liquor or schnapps, yeah, yeah. Kümmel schnapps, <laughs> uh, like this. Yeah, imagine you drink the whole night, the whole day Berliner Weisse. You want to be drunk in the <laughs> evening, then you add schnapps and no syrup, because two hundred years, also two hundred years ago, syrup was expensive. Yeah, all the sugar uh, wasn't wasn't that cheap like today. It was really expensive because uh, the sugar came from uh, sugar canes from the colonies, so it was expensive. Mm -hmm. So the, the sugar production starts uh, started in 1850 around so to be more commercial and mm -hmm. blah no and so yeah <laughs> no a traditional uh, they serve it with schnapps and not with with syrup so okay, so, so how do people react to your beer uh, when you first appeared, uh, were people surprised that Berliner Weisse can taste different than, say, Berliner Kindle? I think that it was not a question Berliner Kindle or not Berliner Kindle. It was more the question Pilz or oh. eh, sauer? <laughs> Hallo? It tastes like, like, uh, uh, done, uh, clean beer, kind of. Yeah, so, <laughs> ooh, sauer! <laughs> it's a Weiss beer. Why, why not like a Bavarian Weiss beer? Yeah, is that now is it Berliner Weisse? <laughs> yeah, so this is um, the big question. Kinde was not that much a theme, so more so the 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 Berliner said, oh yeah, we don't like this pre um, syruped mm -hmm. uh, stuff of Kinde, so we want to choose our own sweetness. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> you don't need it. So yeah, the taste definitely. And, and when, when they, they do this with the Kinder, they said, yeah, uh, Kinder is just sour. This have taste. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Same reaction also now, sometimes with uh, um, American beer sommeliers. Mm -hmm. They just know this kettle sour stuff, fruited blah blah, lactose tralala, mm -hmm. uh, something Berliner style beers. Uh, they, they don't know this is a real Berliner Weisse. So. They, they said, oh, it's a good sour beer, but no Berliner Weisse. <laughs> I send it, I send it uh, examples to South American. Um, I don't know exactly where. And they, they wrote back, so, yeah, it's a Good sour beer, but it's not Berliner Weisse. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote, wrote back, so uh, I'm sorry. This is eventually the only real Berliner Weisse you ever have in your, <laughs> in your life. So, oops. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, and I send them 
Old Stuff. Äh, <lacht> ähm, naja, at least ähm, I'm kind of an ambassador of this beer style. And I have to teach them again. So also in the BGCP, long time, it was uh, without Bretemuse's flavor. Yeah. yeah, and then I, I was uh, in Nuremberg is each year um, the brewer's meeting, trade show, blah, ne? the Brau Biviale. So, and I know a lot of people there and I brought, of course, some beers uh, and um, Of course, I don't want to t take them away uh, around and I have to clean them. So I, I brought it to, to a friend. She, she have to, she should put it in a, in a fridge. And, uh, I come back too late, of course, <laughs> because bah, 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 bah. always too much. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, she opened it and served it to the BGCP. Bosses, uh, hey, mm -hmm. that, that was two, two, two hours ago, and they, they're still so. Oh, wow, that is so amazing! Blah blah, American style. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, since uh, then they they're thinking about eventually we have to change this, uh, uh, the idea of real building advice because yeah, it seems it have to be impression mm -hmm. <laughs> So since this time. Um, they change it then. So I'm, yeah, and, but the people have to try it also and uh, to, to change also the taste for the, mm -hmm. the judgments also. Uh. So we visited your pub uh, last year and mm -hmm. uh, we noticed you have different vintages mm -hmm. of uh, Berliner Weisse and different blends. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you can explain uh, how the beer changes as it ages. It's really different, definitely. Of course, yeah, each bottle is different, kind of. Also, beers from the 16 uh Everything was totally handmade and really small batches, yeah. Um, and uh, sometimes they are not sour anymore. So, so a little bit so, hmm. <laughs> I like it or not, I'm not sure <laughs> if it's not sour, yeah. So, um, but also sparkling and uh, wine-like. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a big fan of fruits in my beer, but... Uh, in fruit, I did once with uh, uh, some elderberries. Mm -hmm. That's a hell of a work. I mean, I'd never <laughs> do it again. <laughs> But still, it was uh, interesting, yeah. And I did in the first year also a beer uh, with grapes. Um, and so usually it's the first year... So one, two years uh, were, were, they are really sour. So uh, nah, I wasn't, wouldn't say disgusting sour, <laughs> but for me too sour. So, mm. and, uh, but when, when you open it after a while, then again, then it tastes sweet. Like someone put syrup inside, mm. kind of, yeah. Mm. So I said, hmm, strange, <laughs> I just opened it. Nobody's here. <laughs> so, and this always surprised me. Yeah, so it's not boring. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I just yeah? said it seems boring. I know it's not boring. Yeah, <laughs> no, it is not boring. Especially when you use uh, Bretonomyces, which is something it, that's hard to control, kind of. Uh, do you still no, use... It's always different. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah? So do you still use the same Bretonomyces as you used in the beginnings? I... Yeah, it changed itself also. Okay. Yeah, um, I use also a mix of Bretomyces and I have to renew it each year or each two years because they start being a little bit... Mm. <laughs> yeah. Lose uh, their life. <laughs> they're still alive, but they get sometimes a little bit... Uh, uh, yeah, lazy, mm -hmm. so, but they have to work. <laughs> so, uh, and also a little bit infected eventually, yeah, blah. So I use, I, I like to use this Vilna, this from the east side, because mm -hmm. they taste like oranges. 
really nice. Then uh, someone um, gave me a uh, 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 taste like strawberries also. It's totally um, don't came from, from an original mm -hmm. Berliner Weisse. Then uh, I use also a Bruxellensis, the, the, the Bruxellensis from the from the uh, brewers from brewer from from Leipzig. So uh, often it's it's a mix. So and also it changed over the time also. Mm -hmm. So I can't say it's the same. <laughs> hmm. uh, <laughs> It's it, it it's it's never the same, never. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and uh, I work on on a really nice stable uh, symbiotic mix culture, but still it's not possible because I can't brew regularly each week. Mm -hmm. So this is a bit sad. <laughs> but yeah, it changed all the time. <laughs> so. Do you think there are any other traditional historic uh, styles uh, in Germany that should be revived, uh, like Berliner Weisse? I mean, I'm, I'm, mm. there are so many styles that were lost in, in history, some of them more recently, some of them we probably don't even have any records of. That's it. We, we don't know if, we, if there is more styles we have to sa save. Uh, I'm really happy that that there still exists the Kölsch and the Altbier. Yeah, uh, the the Leipziger Große is still not like it was mm -hmm. 300 years ago. Um, yeah, sometimes the the people try the Breuhahn to mm -hmm. re react. It could be similar than Berliner Weisse, yeah. uh, but nobody knows. Yeah, uh, we're thinking about uh, a Berliner Braun beer. So a friend of mine uh, did a nice talk about uh, brown beer. So it's also breaded, by the way. Uh, yeah, of course, in this time, uh, they stored the, the beer in wooden barrels. So, and they live in wooden barrels. So um, so this, this could be an interesting project. But it's also something with, uh, uh, yeah, you have to think about how it could be. If it's exactly like, pff, at least the taste change, changes, yeah, also uh, in the community. So um, when you read, for example, books about cake, yeah, and you uh, rebake a cake from 200 years ago, it's like a bread, yeah. In our days, nobody would say uh, that's just a cake. So eventually, no. Because everything is more sweet, yeah, um, yeah, and so at least it's also just a name, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Berliner Braunbier could could be an interesting project. Hmm? Okay, and now the hardest question: Have you tried any Polish Berliner Weisse, and did you like them? No, I haven't tried them. <laughs> Yeah, no, that, I'm, I'm bitchy in this because um, <laughs> when when it's just a kettle sour mm -hmm. and just fruited, so it's um, yeah. too boring for me. So I guess so, and and I, and I don't want to go. So <laughs> this is not the right one. So no, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> then then I stay with Grozitska. Mm -hmm. So this is this is perfect. So, yeah, I survived yesterday <laughs> with this style. And so I, I think, uh, keep going. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, very thank much. you for your interest. And try the beer. Um, you could uh, order in the internet, yeah. We have a web shop. Um, and we, you could, when you come to Berlin, uh, we have a nice bar there. You can get, how do you say, uh, also uh, young beers, uh, old beers, specials. We have also unsour, not sour beers. Yeah, so we are also big fan of, of Franconian lagers. And so, yeah, makes sense also to visit us there. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs>